here for Los Angeles. So it's the Rockets now. Last time they met in Houston. Yo, what is up, guys? It's the Core 105, and we are back with more my career. Ugh. Powerless the defense that I simulated to oh, hit. Come on now. Let's see what you got, son. Oh, I got plenty. Clippers trail by three. Well, Dwight Howard, one of the more. I am on my last second day contract, and this is the last game before I find out if I make the roster officially oh, I got Chris Paul seriously and here we can check out the story on Chris Paul lately he's been untouchable he's been in the zone you see how his performances match up first in steals third in assists Dwight that's the wrong way if you're trying to set a pick bro offensive threat averaging enough points to put him in the top 20 in scoring and just to mention his steals again, Steve, he's, he's one of those guys Ooh. in a zone where it's like he knows what the other guys are doing, his anticipation. Oh, give me the assist. Oh, my gosh. What was that? It's blocked. Here's Ariza. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Suns in Phoenix. And he gets the bucket. Big Dog's got his first points of the game. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his team. Getting the ball slow. Let's go. He got a pass as well. And uh, a lot of these guys can. Here's Big Dog, defended by Paul. Oh, yeah, because, you know, when I'm constantly being hit, yeah, I'm holding the ball too long. Kicks it to Howard. From about 19. Over Chris Paul. Basket is good from Stewart. Griffin a screen on Hart. Here's Reddick. Easy layup. So Dwight, you're just gonna watch him bring the ball in and get an easy shot on you. Here for the Clippers. Everybody on the floor is hot. Incredible stuff here in the early stages. Tell you what, both teams playing downhill. Who's gonna blink first? Here's Stewart, and he gets it to go. Big Dogs got seven Los points Angeles Clippers coming to this one following a loss to the Mavericks in Dallas. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it, never mind if you're on the road. They really look tired to me, and I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late. But 132 left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Griffin. Played in with a nice touch. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Has a pretty solid all-around game to it. Houston's glad they've got him. I bet. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, gentlemen, if you ask Coach Doc Rivers about DeAndre Jordan, he's going to say something along the lines of he can single-handedly change a game with his defense. I genuinely see traits of Bill Russell. Jordan said to be compared with somebody like that, I take it to heart. All right, listen closely, man. I've got a few things to touch on. We're going to turn this from a close game into our game. First things first, how about the job we've done in the paint offensively? It was men against boys down there. We've had our way with them. Our focus has to be operating as much as possible from the low block. Ball security was probably our high point. Let's continue to keep a tight handle on the ball and not try to thread too many needles with our passes. And no standing around out there. I want to see our shooters open. And that happens because we're moving, looking for the gaps in the defense. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. There's Big Dog. He's got seven. Well, this last season was the Clippers' 30th. Uh, okay. For a team that's long played in the Lakers' shadow. Oh, wow, I actually made that. Holy shit. Buckets that have come the off of assists. Here's Stewart. Count it. And oh, and one in your face, Chris Paul. High quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basket. Just wait, he's having their way. Eighth grade, believe it or not. I want to shoot it. Oh. One of the strongest players oh. in the league. Give it to Howard. And Put the that. There you go. Way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Third left side. Los Angeles with another. Oh, what the? Griffin. What? It's rebounded by you. I had it in my hand and then I just let it go somehow. What the hell? I don't know if it's just me, but he's 
looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. And there's the bucket. Oh, I probably would have missed. I would have I would have just stopped it. I would have just turned the game off right there. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill the team. Reddick dishes to Griffin. Oh, get that out of here. Oh, wait, no, maybe Blake Griffin just missed. Oh, and then they hit it there. I've kind of just checked out of this game. I, I just don't even care anymore. I call it prevent offense when you try to protect the lead. Let it fly, let it fly, let it fly. Here's Stewart, six on the shot clock, and the Rockets getting another bucket right there. What a difference in this crowd right now, Clark. Yeah, they're breathless, nervous, and quiet. Yeah, wow. it is quiet time, Clark. You got that right. That was a huge shot. Jordan the screen. Here's Reddick again. Los oh, bullshit. And so lost. Hey, Kevin, I'm here with Blake. All right, well, let's see if I made the roster. Hey, Rook, keep your head up. Oh, well, Coach Rivers. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I just I ain't playing very well. Yeah, everybody has down nights. Don't dwell on it. I've seen you play. You've got game. You'll bounce back. Just keep working hard. I will, for sure. Thanks again. <laughs> you know, life's a funny thing. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I never even heard of you. A few weeks ago, I was certain you were a one-and-done guy. You know, have your cup of coffee in the bigs and then disappear never to be heard from again. And now? Now! Well, now I'm going to tell you that I was wrong not to draft you. And I was silly to offer you only a 10-day contract. And you know, I, I was mistaken to think you were only here to have a cup of coffee. So you're saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we're offering you a guaranteed contract for the rest of the season. Heck yeah! Man, that's what I'm talking about right there. Thanks, you're not gonna regret this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make this organization so proud. Good, good, listen. You got this opportunity because uh, you've been working your tail off out there. You know, you keep doing what you're doing and uh, you know, there's no limit to, to what you can achieve. Uh, you got it? Yes, sir, I do. Get Thanks. out of here. Thanks again. Get out of here. Welcome to the film room, everybody. Coach wanted me to give you all a little breakdown on some of the key points of Memphis' strategies we'll be using moving forward. As you know, the entire staff feels it's important to review the basics from time to time, giving everyone a better understanding of what coach is expecting when you're out on the floor. It's going to help the team win more games. Simple as that. Now let's get to it, gentlemen. Getting to the basket and playing physical on defense. So here we go. Now, there are times when coach is going to want us to really focus on getting to the basket. We have some talented players on this team who are capable of getting to the rim just about any time because of their ball handling, speed, and ability to finish inside. When we run into a team that has weak perimeter defenders or is not very good at defending the rim, coach is going to want us to go strong to the hoop whenever possible. Now, let's take a look at some game film showing how we can try and get to the rim for some easy baskets. Here we've got a nice dribble drive play. The ball handler takes his defender off the dribble and gets all the way to the basket for an easy bucket. When we go up against a team with poor on-ball defenders or a team that's not good at protecting the rim, we need to be able to take advantage. And on this next play, look how the ball handler sees a lane open up to the basket and quickly attacks before the defense can react. Easy score. If you've got a lane, attack. No hesitation. Keep these examples in mind when coach says he wants us to focus on getting to the basket. Okay, up next, playing physical. We've got some very physical players who like to use their bodies against weaker, smaller teams. We should be looking to take advantage of those size and strength mismatches by wearing out our opponents over the course of the game. Now let's look at some films so you guys can see what playing physical on the defensive end looks like in action. 
Here we go. See the defender pressing up on the ball handler? He's not giving him any room to move. You need to be up tight on the ball. Make sure you put a body on them to slow them down. The more physical we play, the better our chances of winning become. On this next play, the defender is down low, bumping his man out of the paint and further from the basket. That's what we need to do when coach asks us to play physical. When they're on offense, we need to lean on them all the time and just keep wearing them down. Okay, that's going to do it for today. There's no excuse not to know what's expected of you when coach calls for either of these points of emphasis in a game. See you at practice. You got it, coach.